Alright guys, welcome back to Zero Place Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time uh, we um looked at Zephom Island a little bit. Now we're gonna fight some more trainers. Um and I went and I healed my Pokebot up. And uh Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm 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 ready, I'm ready, Teddy. <sighs> Uh, of course I didn't fucking use the repel yet. Okay, well, whatever. Use one now. So, uh, apologies for there being no episodes of this last week. I got a nasty cold, and it fucking knocked me out for the week, so... It didn't knock me out for the week, like, I still went to work and everything, but, uh... I am, uh... You know, I work uh, an IT job, and while a lot of the times I'm left to my own devices to fix things, much of the time is talking to people, and uh, a lot more of that than I normally would like. I kind of like to just go fix things. Who's texting me? Yeah, well, whatever. But, um, yeah. Um, after work, uh, there's a couple times, like, after work I'd be like, Hey, I should go do some recording of Pokemon, and I would just feel like crap, and not want to do it. So, <coughs> I still have the cold that I have. Skytrax level 58. Uh, I'm Lapras. I'm gonna switch Pokemon for that. And, uh, uh, you go ahead that. <laughs> and, um... So yeah, I would come home and my throat would be really fucked because <coughs> coughing and talking just didn't help and I'm probably still gonna cough because I still have the cold. I always get a cold during summer. I don't know why I do, but I do. Are you fucking for real right now, Jigawatt? Are you fucking for real? <sighs> Sorry. Wouldn't be right if I didn't get pissed off at Jigawatt for missing with Thunder. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, I decided instead of posting videos, I promoted, uh, Brad's Cuphead playthrough I did with him, um, which is uploading right now. Go check it out, uh, if you haven't. It's on his channel, Fox 7 Gaming. Brad doesn't nearly get the amount of followers he deserves. That guy is a trooper. He puts up, I think, like, two, three videos a day. He's knocking it more out more than I do, as it is. And I know that most people who are watching this right now are, like, the super dedicated fans, like the, you know, <coughs> like the 10 or 20 people who actually give a shit about my stuff. You know, I have 2,100 subscribers, but barely any of them actually, I'm sure barely any of them actually watch my shit anymore. Most of them probably don't even know I make videos anymore. I used to get, this might be unbelievable to some people, but I used to get thousands of views a video. And I used to post two videos a day, too. There was a period where I did. And then I took a small break, and then my viewership just tanked, and then YouTube just kept fucking the, the um, uh, YouTubers in the ass, especially small YouTubers who are trying to make a place for themselves on the site. And um, now I'm lucky to get 50 views a video when I used to get thousands of video. It just sucks. It's because, like, I guarantee you the 2,000 plus people who watch me don't watch every video on this channel. And if they, and you know, and most of them probably don't even know I make videos anymore. Um, I wish I had the, uh, um, the social media thing, uh, that I could, or whatever it's called, uh, oh, what is it called? The, um, the, uh, Oh my god, it's on YouTube now. It's the, uh... This thing that they've been testing for a while. The community tab. Where you can just send a message to all the people who are subscribed to you. But, um... Apparently only select channels get it. Which is like, because my buddy Excalibur, who has almost 40,000 subscribers, doesn't have it. But there are channels with less subscribe, Like, 700 subscribers that have this community feature. So... Either they're still they're doing extensive testing on it, or they're just not gonna, or they're just gonna silently roll it out and not tell people they have the feature. So, 
Honestly, I think they should be testing it with some big YouTubers, which they have been. And then once they've seen that it's working, give it to the other ones, you know? So those of us who can't, you know, who don't have, you know, expensive, uh, or sorry, not expensive, big YouTube channels. Um, it's so important to our growth, but YouTube, uh, doesn't see that. And I know that I could be more popular if I put more focus on my review channel, but if I did one review a week, which at one point I did when I was doing toy reviews, um, I'd have to quit my job. And, uh, <coughs> since I don't make any money off of YouTube, or I never have, even when I had monetization on, I never made money off of YouTube, um, I, that's not sustainable in today's market. Um, I've talked about joining a multi-channel network several times, but I've kind of moved away from that because I just don't know what, um, I just don't know what I'm going to be locked into. You know, I get offers all the time to join them. The other problem is, is I live in Canada and a lot of these companies live in the States, so I have to sign a form, a tax form, to make sure everything's right, and unless my accountant's there, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Um... <coughs> my accountant's not gonna do that shit for free. Probably not. Unless I do him a solid, like... <sighs> There's all these factors in the way. I wish it was just like, I could hit a button and then start making this my job, but unfortunately that's not the way it is. I know I'm something really bitter tonight. It's just been a long week, and I just, uh... I just, um... I needed some, some me time, and I feel like I'm finally getting it now that I'm playing Pokemon. I actually, the reason, like, I'm recording this at, like, it's like... 20 to 1 right now. And the only reason I'm speaking this loudly is because I have the place to all to myself. Um, there's no one else here on this Friday night. Um, so I have the place to myself, and I can be as loud and as obnoxious as I want. Within reason, of course. Uh, I can't make noise complaints or, or make things that would cause noise complaints. Um, I wanted to actually do, a, like, a horror game right now, but I can't... I'm so indecisive on which horror game I should play. And then I gotta install them, and... All that fun stuff. So, I'm just like, I might as well just do some more Pokemon, because... I've been in a really big Pokemon mood. There's this guy I've been watching, um... Oh, fuck, what's his name? There's this YouTube, uh, show... Um... Pokemon, uh... I'm just Pokemon, just for other games too, but Pokemon are those most common videos. Um, uh, let's see, what is it called? Um, there's one called Lost Features or something, or Lost something. Okay, so that's the other side of that. Let's just say. Okay, so let's go back in there. Um, he does a. Okay, the the show, the series that I discovered him on is called Softlock Picking. Um, so if you look that up on YouTube, you'll find a show... God, this guy's panting. What's that girl want? <coughs> <coughs> I'll try to cough away from the microphone, but it's still gonna get picked up, unfortunately. <coughs> this cold is fucking kicking my ass, but I wanted to record more Pokemon, because I'm... It's been a few days. Ever since I started watching that soft lock picking show, I've been thinking, I'm like, I need to play some more Pokemon. I need to record some more Pokemon. And I'm honestly, like, I want to get this game done, but at the same time, I don't want to finish it because I want to just play this game forever. I'm sure I get bored of it eventually, but, uh, uh it's just, uh, yeah. It's a mix of me wanting to move on and a mix of me not wanting to move on because I love Gen 2. It's my favorite generation of Pokemon. I think, um, the first two generations of Pokemon is where they got the most, um, inventive, but within limitations, so it's always something that I feel like 
art is better if it has limitations on it. Gigawatt, come on! Sorry. Um, it's good in limitations. Like, that's why... That's why Mighty Number no. 9 sucked, because... Uh, you gave... Kiji and Ifune was basically given range to whatever he wanted. Really? Five times? Really? Um, it was given... F Are you fucking kidding me? You stupid vagina piece of shit. There we go. Kijina <coughs> Fune was basically giving full reign to do whatever he wanted. And uh, it backfired. It backfired hard. In fact, and on top of that, not only was thing were things not looking good for the game, he did a second Kickstarter for it for, you know, additional stuff, because the first one apparently wasn't enough money, even though they crashed their record. Um, and uh, then he started doing, you know, one for the one for like Red Ash, which was not good. And then he talked about making Mighty Number no. Nine a franchise with an animated series and like toy lines and all these things. And it's just like it was too much at once. <coughs> like when Mega Man first came out, there was just Mega Man. That's it. There was no toys. There was no merchandise. You know, there's no cartoon show. When at first, that that was it. That was just Mega Man. It wasn't until Mega Man 2 and 3 that the series really caught on enough that they were like, okay, we can make money off of this. And I think that's one of the main problems, was that it was too far too fast for Mighty Number no. 9. And to be honest, Mighty Number no. 9 is not a bad game. It's not amazing, like it should have been, but it's not a bad game. <laughs> I think the biggest problem with my number nine is it's just average, and I think people were expecting more than just average. I mean, especially since all these lofty goals they made about trying to make this like a great spiritual successor. That's part of the reason why I'm optimistically excited, or or optimistically, um, I don't know what's the word. I'm optimistically careful of, well, let's see, what's the name of the game, um, of Iga's game, uh, how the fuck do I get down there? Oh, is it because I came through the cave? Yeah, it's, it's blocked off, okay, so, well, anyway, so let's go fly, oh. Did he get healed? No, he didn't get healed. Let's go to Santa Barbara Island. Do the gym. Basically, what I was trying to get with that point is that, um, having limitations is good. Because having limitations means that there's only so much you can do. You can have lofty goals and these great, grandiose ideas, but, like, if you're basically giving carte blanche to make whatever you want, essentially, it's not gonna be as good as if, like, as if there were things, like, they're holding you back. So... Um, I'm sure there's things changing if when I looked at when he, uh, when he made his game, uh, when he made the original Mega Man's that uh, he was just like, you know, this is not what, you know, this is not what I was expecting. Not, no. You know, I wish I could, I regret that I wasn't able to do more, but I mean, th to be honest, all the better. I, I mean, look at, uh... Just another example, look at Star Wars. Uh, George Lucas did whatever he wanted, and people hated it. Um, people hate Star Wars now, though. Like, I heard that they're getting rid of the, uh... The non, uh... You know, the non-sequel movies. Like, they're not gonna do the standalones anymore. And I think that's just a bad idea, because they already made two. And, like, the biggest idea they have is, like, Obi-Wan. And it just is- it just smells bad idea to me. For them not to do it. Alright, well, guys, this is the gym, but we'll have to take it on next time on Zero Plays Pokemon Soul Silver. Thanks for listening to my rambling, and I'll see you next time.